Kick-Ass Live Project, man. Nine hours, man. Strap yourself in. You filmed some good shit. <laughs> What's going on is that that basically this project that started out as as this kind of like let's do a, a live type of video from the from the last tour has turned in to this kind of mega project that is, is now the biggest thing that that we've ever been involved in. Take it well, the action is. James is just listening to if he's singing a tune or not. It has nothing to do with the project. Well, the plant here in uh, Sausalito is, uh, is basically the center of operations. <laughs> but we got one room Seattle, uh, the other room's Mexico City, the other one's San Diego. Trying to mix three different things at the same time. The uh, 70s vibe. Yep. Then we go in here. See in here, he does all these, he does, this is where he just edits the songs together. What are you doing, pre printing samples or something? Something like, like that. He prints samples also. Mm -hmm. Like kick, snare, and samples. Kicks. So this, Listen to that kick. Yeah. Prince cake samples and stuff like that. It's it's very big. Over <laughs> here, that's the, right. the board. You basically got three full gigs. One, you know, one from the Justice tour up in Seattle, um, and two from the last tour. One early in the tour, one late in the tour. A two on video, one on CD. You figure it out. It says on the package. This is where we mix Mexico City. But you know what? The guy, Mike Fraser, that's mixing Mexico City, he's uh, temporarily not here, but I'm sure he'll be back real soon. And the big kick-ass book <laughs> with all kinds of stuff that no one really should see. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or probably <laughs> wants to see. Right. <laughs> Come on. Welcome to Seattle. This is the Seattle room. This is a, uh, this guy's name is Jim. He's got the video up there and he sits and tweaks in all the audio. He sits here and goes a little more of this and a little more of that and a little more drums. A little less of everything else. And, <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, it's good to have him a little cutting, but just, you know, his frequency's cut. So maybe even them out just a little bit. Running back and forth, approving stuff, trying to figure out where you are. Very confusing. We've lost total track. It's all one big blur. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back on tour. <laughs> Down in L.A. at the moment, uh, we've got both of the guys that are doing each of the videos, Michael Solomon doing the Seattle stuff and uh, Wayne Isham doing the San Diego stuff. They're down there editing their hearts away down there and sending up tapes every couple of days and approve this and check this out and what about this effect and blah, blah, blah. Check this out. Metallica. Check it out. We got this. These are all the images. Look, Metallica. We don't have enough tapes. Look, Metallica. 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 Metallica everywhere. Metallica. Metallica. It's enough to make me weep. Metallica. Look, look. See? Metallica. Down. Metallica. <laughs> We have 83.5 hours of film that we shot to get this right here, two and a half hours. I know the ratio seems to be a little out of whack, but we wanted to make sure we got every expression, every innuendo, every 
drop of sweat, every head banging element that is the essence of Metallica. This is two nights in San Diego, so uh, which is a luxury in, in concerts that we are able to get when we get our shit together on the second night. But two, it created an atmosphere that we didn't have to surround the band with you know 30 cameras to get all the coverage. I, I prefer to have less cameras and more time to shoot the guys because you know every day is going to have a different spontaneity. It's going to have a different energy. So. We are lucky in that sense. Instead of having you know one video guy and one audio guy come in and do the whole thing, that we thought that it would be nice to kind of put some different flavors, some different vibes on all the different gigs and the different atmospheres and attitudes and so on. So we got three different guys mixing the three audio segments and two different guys doing the two video segments. So you basically got five different guys putting their individualities on, on what's going on. We're compiling the two concerts here uh, at the company. We shot with eight cameras, two nights, and we did one night that was just uh, a crane on stage shooting drummer shots. I'm really excited uh, to work on this project. Actually, uh, I was quite surprised when they called me. I called them maybe every two months for a year and a half after we shot it. I was waiting for them to give me the, the go-ahead to start. Um, and then three years later, about uh, two and a half months ago, they just gave me a call and I was uh, very happy that we finally got to finish it. Because I think it actually turned out really well. Both are full, full of energy, but they're two different kind of uh, kinds of energy. One's more of a, a bigger, bigger kind of place, and the other one is really a, little, a lot more up close, sweaty kind of kind of vibe, which is the Seattle stuff. What else? Is that all you get? It's in a road case. It's in a road case, man. Actual road case.
It got washed, so it shrunk. <laughs> it's one of Kirk's guitars. <laughs> <laughs> we basically came up with the idea of, of dumping all the different gigs and all the different things basically into like a, a Metallica type of road case. Chocked full of metal. Hey, but wait, you also get a stencil. Don't answer yet. <laughs> How much would you pay for this? <laughs> Jason and Kirk are uh, probably Betty by by now. It's, uh, it's getting rather late. I'll be in tomorrow to pick up the tapes. How's it going in there? What's it sound like? I'll be in tomorrow to pick up the tapes. Did Kirk pick up the tapes? No. <laughs> to answer your question, then, Kirk and Jason are out somewhere having a life right now. Drinking, partying. We're almost done, and new stuff is coming in. In boxes, we're getting more stuff. I can't believe it. There's way too much Metallica stuff. There's a, yeah, there's a, there's a video from San Diego. There's a video from Seattle. There's uh, three CDs from uh, Mexico City. There's a booklet with all kinds of crap in it, pictures and photos and documents and crap you shouldn't ought to see. And uh, also, you get a little stencil of the scary guy, which has kind of become our logo logo for over the last couple of years or something so you get to go stencil your school or whatever you should not do also so there's way too much stuff for even the greatest Metallica fan man <laughs>